One is heliocentrism. This is something you'll learn here. Who is Nicholas Copernicus? And this I'll also share. For over 1500 years, ancient man thought the Earth was the center of the solar system. That was what was taught. This theory was called the geocentric model shown here, which means the Earth was the center of the universe. I do share. But in the 16th century, things began to change. A man named Nicholas Copernicus did decide to rearrange. He introduced a new and at the time crazy theory, placing the sun or soul in the center of the solar system you can see this new theory of the solar system revolving around the sun was called the heliocentrism model to say it is so fun in the 17th century his idea did take hold when evidence was compiled by these astronomers was told Tycho Brahe, Johannes Kepler and Galileo Galilei you see used different strategies to prove Copernicus's theory Tycho used parallax measurements and shot for the stars when he did this, he recorded data when he focused on Mars. Johannes Kepler used Tycho's information and found this. The orbits of the planets and Earth were ellipses. Galileo Galilei used the newly invented telescope to see far to discover the Milky Way cloud were actually stars. Galileo also learned that the sun had spots on it. I sing this indicated the sun was definitely rotating. All this info proved that the heliocentric Centrism model was right. From that point on, it was accepted, all from staring up at night. One is heliocentrism. This is something you'll learn here. Who is Nicholas Copernicus? And this I'll also share. Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday.